Hey, welcome back, it's Steve. Um, you're probably thinking, hey, you wore that shirt last week. Uh, no, I wore this shirt 10 minutes ago when I filmed session number 10. I'm now filming session number 11 uh, because I wanna try and get ahead of things. My son has uh, his 26th birthday is this weekend, so we're going out as a family. Um, I just kinda wanna stay ahead of it, right? And I don't want you to miss out on the weekly uh, delivery of these, so <clears throat> here we are. All right, let's talk real quick about session 10. Session 10, we talked about self-esteem. We talked about esteem having to deal with others, your belief in, in how others are. Um, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your stuck point log, and I'm not gonna show you one of those because I have a feeling that you know what they are by now. Um, and you're going to, or you actually did your stuck point log. You took those, you worked on some worksheets, these challenging beliefs worksheets, and you went ahead and <clears throat> put those into the perspective of self-esteem and esteem of others. Um, again, I stated it in the last session, but the self-esteem one was tough for me because I have been down those dark paths and um, they're not something I'm proud of by any means, but they are a part of my life. They did happen. Um, those thoughts have been there. I still struggle with them. You know, PTSD does not go away. Mental health, depression, uh, anxiety, it doesn't just go away. It takes a ton of work to just manage it, quite honestly. Um, and I wish that more people understood that specifically at the VA. Okay, <clears throat> so you came back in, you've covered your challenging beliefs worksheets from session uh, 10, and then you get into the final module. I know you're excited about that because I was excited about it. The final module, um, just when you think you're excited, is intimacy issues. Um, and it doesn't necessarily just mean physical intimacy. This means um, intimacy beliefs related to you, <clears throat> beliefs that you can take care of your own emotional needs. Um, an important part of healthy living is the ability to soothe and calm yourself. Um, again, this kind of goes in, it, it just builds on last week when they talked about self-esteem. Uh, if your self-esteem is low, you're going to have a hard time having a, a healthy, good, clear look into how you can calm and soothe yourself. Hopefully you worked through those challenging belief worksheets and you got some value out of those. But, you know, the prior experience for intimacy related to yourself, um, there are, you know, negatives and positives. You either believed in yourself or you didn't or you were, you know, in control or out of control. Um, but some of the symptoms associated with negative intimacy beliefs about yourself are the inability to comfort and soothe, as we talked about, fear of being alone, uh, experience of inner emptiness or deadness, uh, you know, that flat feeling that there's not much going on, um, periods of great anxiety or panic, if reminded of trauma when you're alone. Um, I had, I have quite a bit of those that happen to me from time to time. Um, possibly looking to external sources for comfort, overeating, alcohol, substance abuse, spending money, self-harm, blah, 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 blah. Um, overeating, did it. Alcohol, did way too much of that. Um, other substance abuse, I, I tried things, but they didn't really catch on with me. I was a drinker. I was a drunk, flat out drunk. So, um, and spending money, I could spend money way faster than I can make it. So um, I have to really control myself there, right? Um, <clears throat> and then you get into intimacy beliefs related to others. <clears throat> beliefs that you're capable of making different types of emotional connections with others. The desire for closeness is one of the most basic human needs. Intimate connections um, with others can be negatively affected by traumatic events or damaged by insensitive, hurtful, or unempathetic 
responses from others. Um, so they talk to, you know, there's, there's experiences that you'll have that are intimate with others. Um, and that again, that doesn't necessarily mean physical touch. You know, you could have a really good friend that, you know, you, your buddy or your, you know, brother or sister or whatever, and you feel disconnected from them. That's, that's intimacy with others being broken. Um, or you can have this real solid connection with somebody else where it's almost like if, if something happened to them, you'd feel it yourself. Uh, I call that the twin factor, you know, cause twins seem to have that connection. Um, but some of the symptoms associated with negative self-esteem beliefs about others are pervasive loneliness. Like doesn't matter if you're around other people or not, you're just flat out lonely. Um, emptiness or isolation, like you're completely different. Or, hey, I'm here, but that's about it, right? Um, failure to experience connectedness with others, even in relationships that, you're, that are genuinely loving and intimate. Um, spouse or, um, you know, having a, a, a really good solid relationship with kids or parents, um, all those things come into play. Right? <clears throat> so, coming out of session 11, and we're gonna do a little bonus stuff at the end here. Coming out of session 11, you're gonna get, believe it or not, six challenging beliefs worksheets. And you're going to concentrate those challenging beliefs worksheets on intimacy. Intimacy for yourself, intimacy towards others. And you're gonna you're gonna fill those out and bring them with you to session 12. Now, <clears throat> today's an exciting day, and I kind of want to make sure that we're all on the same page here. Session 11 is done. You walked in the door for session 12, and you finished all of your your review of your your challenging beliefs worksheets you talked specifically about intimacy you got into some of those details and in the true nature of what has happened throughout this entire journey you get a certificate of completion because there is no session 12. session 12 is basically review that last piece and then you have made it through cpt um, it's an accomplishment, right? That's a lot of work. Let's be honest. Over the last 12 weeks, we've done a ton of work. Um, and you know, the work is still just at the beginning. You're not, you're not completely healed after 12 weeks. I would be shocked if anybody was, uh, it's going to take a lot more time and a lot more effort for you to get to that point. But I want to congratulate you. Um, if you watched all these videos, uh, they're all in a playlist on my YouTube channel. If you know somebody that has PTSD that's possibly looking at, you know, going to the VA for help, share these videos with them. They're 15 minutes at the beginning and they're like seven or eight minutes towards the end of the sessions. Um, they're worth it. You know, just get, give, give somebody an idea of what it's like to go through this because that's really my whole point with this is trying to give you an idea of what it was like to go through this process. Um, you can have a therapist or a counselor tell you, oh, this is the greatest thing since sliced bread, but they don't, they're not the patient in this case, right? I was a patient. I was not, I'm not a therapist. I'm not a counselor. Um, I'm none of those things. I am a patient um, and I'm still a patient. We're still going through some things. We just happen to move past CPT. So, um, thank you very much for watching all these videos. I'm going to continue to do other videos to help veterans. There, some will be focused around mental health care and some will be focused around disability and health care and, and a lot of different benefits that you can get from the VA. Um, some of these take work and I'll just be honest with you. I'm not always the biggest fan of the VA, but there are benefits that you can get. There is help that you can get and parts of the VA do a heck of a dang good job at putting all this stuff together. Hey, <clears throat> thank you for watching. Um, like the video, give me a thumbs up, 
share it, uh, subscribe, please. Let's, uh, let's build this audience up and keep this thing going. And I will try to pick up the pace on some of my other videos. Uh, these, to be honest with you, doing these once a week, and sometimes I filmed two or three during one week. These are kind of taxing um, to film because I'm reliving a lot of the uh, experiences that I had during CPT. I'm reading through all my challenging beliefs worksheets. Uh, and that's another thing. Listen, if you, if you watch all these videos and then you go and try and seek help for this, save all your stuff. Your counselor should give you a copy of everything that you hand in. Um, it, it is like school. You're going to hand stuff in. Ask them to make a copy. I know at the VA they will make a copy. I, I know at the VA in Oklahoma they will make a copy for you and let you take a copy of everything home. Keep copies of everything so that when you're done, you can take a walk back and just go, hey, look how far I've come. This is, this is, I've done a lot of work for this. I think it helps build that self-esteem. It helps build that intimacy with yourself. It helps you understand that you do have a level of power and control with yourself. I know I'm going backwards through all these issues, but, or all these modules, but that's the point. At least that's what I derived from it. That's the point. So, uh, thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next video. Take care.